Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So a few weeks ago, a customer of ours shipped his car in from California. Um, it's basically just a rolling chassis right now, but we're doing a full build on it. So we've been ordering parts galore and some of the bigger stuff has started to show up now. So we figured this would be a good time to introduce the car and actually get the build series kicked off. So yeah, let's start with the car first. So this is a 2001 BMW Z3 M Coupe. It is a legit M Coupe clown shoe. Um, it came stock with the S54, you know, the same one from the BMW E46 M3. Um, it had a five-speed manual in it, and obviously all of that is gone now, so it's going to get a complete engine transmission swap, whole driveline swap, basically. Um, but yeah, it is actually a factory paint job as well this is the oem blue it came in a gloss coat um door to, due to some door dings uh he had it repainted and then decided to do uh, a mat over it instead of a clear so everyone that sees this at first is like wow that's a really badass wrap but you're like no it's actually a legit paint job which is pretty sweet um the engine bay was pretty beat up so we went ahead and painted that um, a gloss black so that is going to look super clean um, the new engine is all painted black so we'll be showing that off in a second that was one of the first big things to show up so so yeah this is it I mean it's pretty stripped on the inside well I say stripped but there's just no seats um, Came with some bucket seats, but he is changing to a two-piece like reclining seat instead just to be a little bit more functional, put some more miles on the car, drive it more often. Um, does have a welded in half cage and harnesses, so that's sweet. We're gonna be keeping that. I guess front to back, what we're gonna be actually doing on the car, um, it does have a hood and bumper just to be super safe. We hid them upstairs so that no one scratches anything. But starting at the front, um, it's just gonna get some carbon fiber accessories, a little lip, stuff like that. Um, we are going to be keeping the BBSs as well as getting a set of wider apexes for some track driving. It is getting a new motor. It's going to be getting an 8HP uh, 70 from a 392 Challenger. Uh, single piece drive shaft, we're going to put a Ford 88 rear end with our G-Force axles in the back. Um, engine bay is just going to get cleaned up. Um, this guy does love car shows and car shows do love this car. So we want to make the engine bay super clean. Um, no race car stuff when you look up here, you're going to be OEM clean minimalist in the front. Um, like I said, yeah, then some new Sparkos just for the inside, just to be you know, more comfortable. Daily the car puts more miles on it. So, get some Sparkos, seat mounts. Um, then, like I said, drive shaft, 488 rear end. Um, new suspension arms in the back and front. Fix the caster up front. Um, KW V3s, uh, one ways right now. So we'll keep those, probably get it revalved just depending on the weight of the car once we're done the whole swap. These cars are very light and small from the factory and you're about to see what we're going to shove into this thing in a second so might have to revalve those. Um, it's got a big brake kit in the front already. Rears are stock brakes but needs pads and rotors so we might upgrade to this in the rear as well or maybe just keep it factory who knows. But yeah, all right, let's, I guess, show you the first big step that came in today. Well, not today, this came in like a week ago. Yes, we are shoving this in the clown shoe. 
That's a V8, baby. This is a six liter built motor, um, forged rods, pistons, uh, crank, cam, CNC ported heads. Um, yeah, basically everything you can throw at an LS. Um, this is no intake manifold yet. Um, we got a bunch of great parts from Borschlag for engine mounts, stuff like that. Um, American Racing headers. Um, yeah, I mean, what more could you ask for? This is gonna stay naturally aspirated for now. I think he already has some hopes of boosting it in the future. But for now, we're gonna get it in there and keep it naturally aspirated. All right, Kyle, want to go get the engine hoist so we can start this thing then? Some mic's slacking off. So yeah, basically we uh, tried to start assembling on the pallet and the wood got in the way. So we're going to hang it and get it all dressed up. And then we got transmission up on the shelf. Way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah. Oh, getting all shaky. All right, let's back out. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Are you? Uh, we don't even need the hoist. Are you just gonna pick it up? I'm Look at you. You got your lumberjack jacket on, so you're ready to like. Oh, sorry, yeah. I have to pick it up right here. I'm just gonna drop it in the car. Just drop shock put it like. Swapping a motor is not that hard, guys. We can just drop it. in. Ugh, Kyle's making so much noise. <laughs> Probably true. It is Jeff. He just misses Jeff so much. Coop is so different than the little vert. I, know. I never realized, I guess, how different the back end was. It's like literally like not even the same car. I guess that's why it is super rare. Oh, the internet. People are going to love this and people are also going to hate this. We're going to get cast size for... Dropping the S54. <laughs> just, you look like you're like scared. You're like, I just came out of the wilderness. I got four hoodies on right now. I don't know what year it is. Some Revenant stuff. Leonardo DiCaprio here. Where's that? Yo, I got a sweet got knife. knife yeah, oh, yeah. What David would be, no, David would be so proud. You got me that for my birthday. What? Trusted me with a weapon. Yeah, it's my nice, baby. Do it how the, the customer would. Yeah, well, Christmas is here. In October. Alright, so. Rid of all that junk. Yeah, throw it right on the floor so we have to pick it up later. Yeah. Real nice. That's real nice. Oh, oh, stab, stab. So we got the adapter plate. Wham bam. Couple. So that's gonna go like. Well, bam. No, oh that? no, Mike. A little pin, a little centering pin there. Don't lose those. There it goes. All right. Yeah, that's gonna go band there. And then flywheel is fully custom, not reusing any flex plate.
so we got some sweet plates with like four recessed bolts that are going to go into the block. And this allows us to basically place the engine mounts. It gives us like a few different positions, I guess, in the Y axis, depending on how far back we want this to sit. I assume this really helps them just allow it to be used in a bunch of different platforms. Um, so a little bit more trial and error than when I saw just this like one mount pre-made. I was like, that's beautiful, nice. Yeah, they told me I'm actually gonna have to try. So we're gonna have to put the motor in, line up, I guess we'll put the mounts in the chassis first and then put it in and kind of eyeball how far we want it to sit and then pull it all out, put it all together and then put it back in. So I don't know how tool clearance is gonna be, but I guess right now headers are obviously off, so it's super easy, but. Work tight. Click, click. Uh, all right, I guess, I don't know, what do you think? Do we wanna put the chassis ones in first? Well, yeah, I suppose. So I don't really wanna put the header back on yet. And that other half of the bracket, not really sure. Is it the correct side or do I have the correct No, side? I think I, this is the right side. I can see both of those. Okay. So we'll reuse that one big one and then so it'll sit like that. Everything's basically just black on the camera. You can't see shit. Um, all right, what do you think? Like an M12? I'll find something. All right, we were fiddle fuckling with mounts. Fiddle, fiddle fuckering with mounts, but no, you got the eye shaft, yo. That's what we're doing now. Does it extend <laughs> any? Uh, I don't know. Came with the kit. Let's figure it out. Why does it look short? Yeah. Oh, man. That's what she said. That's a... We're missing a piece. That's six inches on a good day. Uh, back to the box. We're missing a piece for the eye shaft. Wow. All right. It's got to be in a box somewhere. All right, so steering rack was just a little bit short. Uh, we didn't have the piece. So we emailed Vorschlag. They're going to send it over. No big deal. Kyle's going to torque the flex plate now. And then I think that's where we're going to wrap up for this episode. Hi, guys. What's Mike doing up there? Oh, now he's coming out. Dude, it's like 40 degrees. Yeah, it's gonna be warm. Dude, tomorrow? I was wearing a parka when I was filming the freaking wing video today. I was like, hood on, zipped up. I'm like, it's like snow in here. Hey, check the weather for tomorrow. See if it's gonna be a little bit warmer. It's not that cold. <laughs> Dude, well, not. You can't put cold paint. I mean, uh, paint on a freaking cold hard steel. It ain't gonna work. I have to start painting right in the morning. Oh, I'm not saying paint tonight. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to. Oh. Oh. Good, just okay. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one man operation? Maybe, I don't know yet. So they look cool? Put sideways. Well, that was 60. And you have Mike hold the end for you. We might have to put the jet skis on this pallet racking just because it's 48, not 40. Well, I don't think they're going to go this way. What I think you? I got to put them. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Now they are kind of long. Jet skis are a little long. They are. That one's empty, so that one's even scarier. 
True. All right, we'll just do sideways then. Let's just, wait, let's just get him inside and wait for Sean, and Sean can tell us the way. The way of the people? The way of... Well, what else will freeze you? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we hung our jet skis. <laughs> yeah. How's it going down there, Kyle? I don't know what kind of maneuver Kyle's doing. I guess for the people that don't know, this is Kyle. This is Kyle. Kyle works for us now. He's in charge of all things in the shop. Are you spinning the crank? Yeah, it's spinning the crank. So I'm seeing if I can wait something into it. This crank damper has like the thing you need to take off the front to get to the bolt. Yeah. Um, Here, I got it, Kyle. Give me this flathead. The what? Give me the flathead. Kyle's good at working on things without screaming at it, like Mike and I. We just get really upset in two seconds. He's actually good at doing this. But. And. We'll see if this works. It goes to the button until vibes. The beat don't mean shit. Kyle, what do you want to tell the people? You like dirt track, oval racing, America? Kyle gets wrecked and immediately. Bushla. And bush lot. <laughs> Kyle gets wrecked immediately in iRacing. No, Kyle and I did iRacing and we got wrecked. Come on. That's how I that's how yeah, I Yeah, we just were taken straight Wallace. off the, yeah, we got Bubba Wallace. For anyone in the NASCAR, I got Bubba Wallace a couple <laughs> weeks ago. We're good, that was six. Wow. That's it. So yeah, we used uh, old trusty Google to figure that one out. It's a uh, three step. Kyle, you can't just, give away all your mechanical knowledge. We just skipped. We skipped the three steps. We only did two. We did 60 and then 80. The lead. So, foot pounds. <laughs> you don't want newton meters. I think... We're not, we're not that kind of shop. No newton meters here. No. Heck with that. I think when you just put a bolt in, it's uh, immediately at 20. <laughs> hey, if anyone from Milwaukee sees this, sponsor us, you know? <laughs> no free ads. I'll start covering that up. <laughs> no free ads around here. Uh, All right. Well, that's it for the motor. The good intro on the car. And then next time we will, uh, yeah, have the steering shaft and then we'll put the transmission on and, yeah, keep going. Parts are showing up every day. So this thing is on the road. Can we get the Holly? Please? On the road again? Ooh, there is a Holly. We'll I'll, save the Holly I'll, for I'll, next uh, one. I'll get ready to print up a new dash for the Hollies. I'm sure you yeah. can pattern on the internet. Patterns on the internet. All right, we got to go move some jet skis and it's 40 degrees out. So <laughs> see you in the next one.